long time ago i created a split screens pack and i thought it would be a really good idea to create a really complex system of controls after getting feedback from the users that bought it i realized that i'd made a mistake the usability factor was not really there because the users couldn't remember exactly which split screen was which one i actually went back and built the whole thing from scratch the result is this new split screens pack to install the split screens it's going to be a drfx file so all you have to do is just double click the drfx file and then it will show up a little prompt box with the installation box i already have it installed on my end right here so it just says overwrite how does the new split screens pack work when you get your split screens pack, you're going to get these controls right here and your effects tab. Here we're going to find two screens, three screens, four screens, five screens and six screens versions. The way that this works is just simply double click right here and it will be added to your clip. Now, the first step to make these split screens effect work is that you have to turn your stack clips into a future composition if you only want to use it on two clips then you don't have to add six clips obviously right here i'm just gonna right click and then turn this into a fusion clip and then you can actually rename these whatever your name for the composition is when you're working with these you can open these in a timeline view and then still make any adjustments to all the clips right here like if you want to adjust the size or position or even color grade inside this fusion composition, you can still do that. Now, after you have your fusion composition, all you have to do is go to your effects section and then find the split screens, which you can also find here by folder. So you can see them individually without having to scroll. So at the split screens, all you have to do is either double click here or drag and drop your clip right here. Now, the values that you can change here are here in the effects section and you can customize the position and even animate them and then whatever since i will move so you can still move these around like that here you have the border width which if you bring these to zero you will just have a split screen that's that doesn't have any edges and you can also flip whatever's inside the split screen rotate freeze the size and all that from within the inspector right here now the color section here is for the borders so if you set the borders to zero then it doesn't matter but you can still change the color of it if you want to have a different color. Now, what happens if you have a split screen and you want to show these like not completely in the full screen? Like, let's say you want to have a mini screen showing the split screen, like a viewer, for example. All you have to do is go to the open effects here and add the transform. And now you can adjust these like that. And then you can adjust the position of your split screen by doing that. Now on the two split screens here, there's there's two actually that have a customizable line. And what that means is that you can add these to your clip and then here you can actually animate these or create a sort of like a little bit more custom split screen. Now, the only thing here is that if you move the Y value, you will see that it cuts the actual mask that's activated on the split screen right here. So it will basically not look that great unless that's exactly the result that you're going for. But for these to work, you would probably want to have like a zero border or edge and then have maybe a third clip show up right here. And then for, let's say you wanna add a five split screen. All you have to do is preview these by selecting that there, double click and it's added. And then here you can adjust the clips with the controls right here. Now you can also use the viewer controls right here to adjust these split screens. All you have to do is go here to this arrow and then use fusion overlay that will actually activate all the different layers of our split screens which are basically screen one two three four five and you will just have to move this like that and then manually you can move it around in that way there's one more way that you can use these split screens which is not exactly building a fusion composition but it will limit a little bit of what you can do maybe so to use it in that way we're gonna just add a couple of layers let's say we're gonna add three in this case so each clip is gonna have its own layer what you would do then is just add the same effect to the three of them. So three screens and let's say I want to add this one. This one has been added to the top one, but we also want the third and second one to have it. So you can either double click on all of them or just copy and then paste the fusion effect on the other one. So what happens when you add these onto clips when they are stacked like these is that it will basically show everything that's under it also and it will allow you to change the settings on all of the boxes. Let's say this is slot three and the slot three, we want this to be on the right. So what you wanna do is just decrease the size of screen one and screen two, 
and then you can adjust screen three to have that in that side now for the second screen we're gonna do get rid of the screen one and also get rid of screen three although it's already here so it's not gonna be affected because we have this one on top and then for screen one just get rid of three and two although since the other clips are already on top of them, they're not going to be shown either way. And that way you can use these split screens like that on your clip. It's just a little bit more work, but it gives you a little bit more freedom for when you, let's say you want to move these around and have it only that be the split screen. Although you will have to get rid of these edges because it will look a little bit weird if you just left them like that there, right? So let's say you just want to showcase one section of your clip. Like let's say you have an image with a bunch of text here, like a list, and you just want to animate these coming into your screen. So what you want to do is go to transition and then just add a push transition to these and then we'll see how it looks then you have that cool split screen transition that only shows that one side if you were to use number three all you have to do is bring these to the side and then you will just have to set the direction from the other side and then in and out and then you have that split screen with a bunch of details showing there in that way what's in the roadmap for these is that there's going to be vertical ones too there's going to be square ones too, because these don't really adapt very well when you turn these into a, like a square resolution or vertical resolution. And also there's going to be an animated version. So yeah, that is basically all that I wanted to show you and tell you about the split screens. I hope that you can purchase these if you find it useful for your projects and that you can save a ton of time on your projects and create super cool compositions with these. So make sure to check the Swalbic website for the demo and also purchase the premium pack. That is it for this video. I hope we'll see you in the next one. Here in the top.